episode 61. We rolling, baby. Keep on rolling. Keep on. Throw Keep your on hands rolling. up. Hands up. No, hands down. <laughs> yeah. Back up and back down. Here we go. I don't even know what you're talking about. Don't even worry about it, fam. We're going to get there. We're going to keep in motion. But yeah, okay. What is happening right now? Oh, well. Can't talk about oh, it. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. The cosine. So if you're checking this out, we are episode 61 of the Swerve City Podcast. YouTube.com backslash Swerve City Podcast. Subscribe. Have fun with what we do because we are trying to. Anyway, <laughs> we are coming just off of Mania Weekend, bro. Um, L.A. was fun. I only spent two days out there. I wasn't very busy. This is the first Mania Weekend I've had in a long time that I didn't wrestle at all. I wasn't trying to do no wrestling, active wrestling. I just wanted to move around and watch people. Yeah, I did. Good people watching so, weekend. Yeah, I just wanted to watch people, watch folks, see what everything is doing. Speaking of which, one thing that I did watch was this woman's match over here. Welcome to the show, episode sixty-one, Marina Shafir. Everybody, yeah. Um, this is like my travel buddy every week when it comes to going to AEW. We do TV. see each other at the airport a lot. We're always like. Like, hey, homie, okay, I'm on the right flight. Awesome. So, pretty much. Yeah, so we're the reassurance <laughs> that we're going in the right place and I'm not home alone, Macaulay Culkin, going to New York. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she did Blood Sport this week. It was awesome. It was fun. K- uh, Killer Kelly and her had a banger. It was it was really dope. It's a, first off, Blood Sport, GCW Blood Sport is a really interesting product in itself, the show. Yeah. If you move the ropes, it's just ring. So, you got to just, you, it's combat. It's combat and it's physical, and that's where this woman strives the best at. That is her yeah. natural habitat. That is the shark in the waters. <laughs> so if you can't swim, good luck with this woman in the can- on the canvas and just pure skill. And I love watching it, and it's, like, really cool to see. Like, I see her every week with AEW. She's learning. She's uh, still adapting to the professional wrestling style. But seeing her go into her habitat it's a sight to see, and I just want to give you your flowers. You're remarkable at what you Aww, did, and I appreciate stop you. stop it. And Thank I you. love watching you work every week. Thank you. Yes, I go to Orlando Dark Tape and just see where's Marina's match. I'm watching Marina's T- match. I make sure of that, man. So, TZ, what's been good, brother? We got a update on uh, anything? like Because yes. he just gave me some business talk, and it was like, this is some good shit. Business? Yeah, man. Big business. We, we, we cooking, man. You know what I mean? You know. What, what can you tell them? You know, nationwide is on your side, first of all. I'm just joking. Anyway, <laughs> we're, doing, we're doing great, man. Life is life is good, feeling good, you know, taking everything one day at a time. You know, uh, to get I into updates, time. to get into updates, my brother here, May 14th, is dropping his album. It's going to be me coming on all it's crazy. distributive. It's uh, How do you have the time? You know what I mean? I don't know. Um, That's so crazy. Uh, you know, we, we are steady moving to my. Project Erica's son too dropped June twenty fourth on my son's birthday. What? So make sure my dad's birthday. So absolutely, Dropping my birthdays. son's birthday is April twenty fourth. We got we got to drop all a track fours, now. man. We got to drop a track on April twenty fourth now, bro. I we do got some stuff in the pot that we could just like, yeah, uh, yeah, really, we, we, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. There's so much that we that we have, you know what I mean, that uh, we've been working on. So we have stuff in the vault that we could just bring out there and make sure you got. Thank you to all the subscribers. We're now at seventeen thousand on our YouTube. Make sure you guys continue to subscribe. Show your love. Don't just watch our like it and subscribe because it helps us. You know what I mean? Like like and subscribe because it, hel- it helps the platform. Do your you know thing. What I mean? Do the thing. And when thing. you're watching this wonderful hey. episode with Marina, Marina over here, here, bro, you, you know gotta I mean? like, like and subscribe. subscribe. What we doing, man? You know, don't just scroll by. You like you don't uh. listen to music, you just skim through it. Just <laughs> just, just you know, There's subscribe. There's too many people that's. Stroll on by. Absolutely. So don't you know, stop that's, and say hi. That's the updates, man. I'm yeah. feeling good, my brother. All right, so we got to get into the nitty gritty. Marina, what's been going on? How's family? How's life? How's the career? How oh man, where do you want me to start? Um, you family's feel. good. My son is turning into a little man. Little He's not man. a baby anymore, and it's, uh, it's bittersweet. Yeah, terrifying. It is. It's I know terrifying. that on the lady side because I got two girls. Boy side, I don't know if I can deal with boys. I, I I do I live vicariously through this man with his son. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. oh, How old is your son? My son is uh, eleven, and oh it is goodness. the scariest thing. <laughs> oh, I'm God. not saying publicly what had happened. I will not say that on air, but I will <laughs> say he knows some things that my son is now learning about and has seen, 
And I didn't know about that till about 17, 18, and this kid's 11. We're already having uh, this birds and bees conversation. Okay. It is scary at 11 years old to have a conversation like that already. But that's just the way the world is. I am, ugh, I'm just I'm trying to, like, take my emotion out of it and be like, ooh, he's going to have so much information. Yes. This is given to you now. And, like. We had to seek it out when we were younger. Yeah. Time. Now they just throw it at like we, face. Yeah, and, like. We didn't even want to ask those questions. No, like, true. you know, there's some, uh, so. Twitter just throws it at your face what is, now. What like, is I, don't, I don't follow any of this. Something that's that's happening with him now in his growth that you're saying, well, damn, I overnight you just learned about this was something. The other day, <laughs> he's going to kill me. Um, The we'll other day, right. like, no, not the other day, like a week, <laughs> a week, two weeks ago, um, he just, you know, got cleaned up. And uh, we're just picking something to watch on TV. And Roddy's just making, finishing up his dinner. And he'll just be like, <gasps> and I'm like, what's up, dude? And I'm like, he lifts up his shirt. He's like, Mom, my nipple's sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> my nipple's sticking out. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's uh, Rod- cool. Uh, Roddy, want to handle this one? Um- <laughs> So with those kind of things, do you have... It's just, you know, it's pure innocence, and I never want to make him feel like he's right. out of place or, you know, not allowed or... Because, you know, I had that as a kid, and it just sucks. Uh, do, with those things, do you, do you like, kind of pass those things on to Roddy? Or is it like, all right, this is mom time. I'm going um, to it. It depends. Like, if he's home, I'm always like, I need a tag now. Yep, <laughs> yep. Like, right now, I'm going home. <laughs> and uh, when he's not there, I kind of have to. Yeah. Well, you know, your dad probably knows a better way to explain this than me, and I just do my best. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, feel it. yeah. Does that? Does was it? Okay. So as 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 a mother, is it? What is the biggest adjustments you have to like? Because now you got to think. Like I understand you're in the, in the dude. I've been thinking. <laughs> What are Yo, you I've talking about? You're, you're in a household with, two, with a young, with a young boy and another grown man. Like, like just that. Uh, how is that adapting to that? Live and being a mother, trying to balance that work life balance. Is that is how's that is that tough for you, or have you gone adju- gotten adjusted to it? Uh, I feel like I've become really good at like handle it, move on, handle it, move on, because. There's just like no time to for bull really in my life right now. <laughs> yeah. You know, and like we already, you know, I travel a lot and I know this is a very special time for like my son in his development and his just his personal stuff going on cuz like he's going to really start remembering a lot of this stuff and like I just don't adjusting to like understanding he's going to feel lonely. That sucks. Um Especially, like, being away from my husband. I mean, that's a given. I I love hanging out with my husband. He's, like, my best friend. Where Roddy and, at, man? I'm I know. Sorry. He's the, he's the man. Um, yeah, just being away from them kind of, like, sucks. But at the same time, it puts things into perspective for real, whether you like it to or not. Like, I'm not just saying it just because, like, I finally understand why people say it. Like, when you're away from the things that, like, you really love. It hits you, and, like, then oh, you're yeah. like, okay. You know, I feel like a lot of that has been turning on for me lately personally, and it's kind of, you know, like I said earlier, like, everything is relative. Like, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything, and it's all slowly coming around. Um, had some fun matches this week, and uh, just be interested to see what's going on this week. Why are we all? I know. I, I mean, yet. I know what's going on on the weekend. I get to... Guess what, though? Tony Khan has another announcement to make. Oh. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. Do you want to play the guessing game? I think we got a new canvas. What does that ring. mean? We got a new canvas for the wrestling ring. That's the <laughs> announcement. Because at this point, I don't know what else it could be. <laughs> He's just throwing... I mean, I, I mean this like like you said, that we we're in an interesting time. Yeah. Like, you're in an interesting time with your son. But, like, we're in the most interesting time in pro wrestling ever. It's so crazy. So, it's, like, you all the... You can't blink, man. At all. So, like, uh, it's, like, a whirlwind of things. So, like, being a parent, then having to go on the road and deal with the world that we're dealing with as, like, the, as professionals and stuff. Yeah. 
So, like, once again, like, big announcement, big merger sales and stuff going on with the conglom- the high conglomeracy of pro wrestling. The Mecca is, yeah. like, merging with this. And now, like, big announcement from Tony Khan. He got an announcement with AEW. I'm like, okay, now we got that ha- happening. We have no idea what's going to go on there. And then having to come back home and be a parent and kind of unload all that and bring all that this down yeah. to here is, like, really interesting. It's really different. And, like... That's why I'm. It's being a parent right now as what we do in our job is so much harder because I know the world is world whirlwinding as with with children as well too. Yeah, like how do you slow it down? You can't. Like how do you just like take a beat and like you know, be like, hey, totally normal to take a minute and just think about what just happened, so you can like understand to, your next move. It's so hard to make the abnormal normal though. Like, it, like you know, like parenting for dummies. It's like we can't. Do, I don't. No. That was so much. That book made more so much more sense twenty years ago. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, now it's like we're still trying to figure it out. We don't have, we like I, I we don't have the advice, yeah, really to pass it on yet because we still haven't figured it out ourselves. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a tough climbing to being an entertainer now, especially in this in this yeah. landscape of the world. And then you have children, and then you know you go and you do things, do shows, do do your job, and you come home. And then your kids just get a boatload of information and know in one week they know five different things about the world. And it's just that, that, and you having to adapt. As a parent, I feel like we have to adapt more to the way the world is. Not saying no disrespect to our parents or grandparents or anything yeah. like that, but it was more of a structured living on how they lived back then without social media and information, you know, uh, that these kids are accessible to now. So each and every day we're, we're, we're just living, we have to adapt. Each and everything, like I, I could just imagine, especially with you guys being wrestlers, both of you guys being on the road, both of you guys doing what you have to do, and then still trying to raise him in, into a structured foundation. That's really tough, and it's really hard on us sometimes as parents. We don't have all the answers. No, we don't. You know, absolutely. I start asking stuff, I'd be like, "Hey, bro, I just tell you how I went through it. I don't have this answer. You yeah. apply it. Great, but this is just experience is the best teacher." Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but Absolutely. At the same time, you're kind of afraid for your kids to experience. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a double. Yep. It's a double. Yo, sword. I watch my son get his ass kicked at jujitsu like <laughs> almost every week. Like, and yep, son, been there, done that. Yep. Mm-hmm. He looks at me like, "What the fuck, huh? You're a black belt, and you have a fucking purple belt." Like, <laughs> I just, I'm not like. I feel like I let him down by not like giving him these genetic traits of mine that like you know Did, that so I worked really fucking hard to like just have be like a natural response to things. But, but my problem is he looked at you. Yeah, like, this is, mom, come on. Yeah, give and me, I'm just like some. I just look at him. I'm like, fuck up, like, <laughs> get up, man. Like you can do it. And as soon as I like start encouraging him, he's he's good. So did you make a conscious? <laughs> You make a conscious effort. Was it a conscious effort you made not to train him yourself? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. this is what I know. I will coach my son. There will come a time where he will learn from me. Mm-hmm. But he hasn't. I like. It's good for him to put his trust into other people oh, right that's now. Absolutely. That's a good point. And like the other people that his trust is being put into, I trust they will teach him correctly and they have the same belief systems as me. And, um, listen, he's just going to keep getting his ass kicked until he decides to not want to get his fucking ass kicked anymore. That's Mm. what happens. And he's got to learn that that is his decision. And I can't teach him that right now because he, you know, when we talking with Kenny Omega about this kind of thing? We we dog like, it's, what is it? Like um, because we talked about like him having like, like new trainees and new young people in wrestling and stuff. He's happy to bring these new young talents into the wrestling world and stuff like that. Yeah, and like he's like and, and especially get contracts so early so soon. Yeah, it's and, a lot. And then we have the feeder system with like the darks and like elevations, and so he can put people in certain places. And I'm like, and I'm like. I kind of want some of them to struggle a little bit, though. I don't want an 18, 19, 20-year-old dude to just get his contract right away. I want him to kind of, like, hurt a little bit, just a little bit. I don't want him to, like, get taken out, like, career-ending injuries or nothing like that. But I want people – I want 
these kids in, in the day to like get it, get feel a little bit of the sting. Persevere. Yeah. Overcome. Overcome something. Like feel a little bit of the sting. So at least you know Go get tapped out. Yeah. You you now you know how it feels and you wanna like prevent that. Now you know like you gotta feel these pains a little bit. You know who does that? Who's this? Who's this? Billy Starks. Yeah, yeah, I'm a. Uh, I love. I'm Billy. gonna keep kicking her ass. Yeah, literally until I can't kick no more ass, man. That, that, that's that's godmother complex. Like, no, you ain't gonna get this easy. You I'm your mama now. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. But well, we need that. You we need, need gatekeepers. Be that gatekeeper. You need to learn. I I learned this. But she wants man. to learn too, and she also is very honest and very helpful. Very. She knows how to talk. And, you know, like, you just look at her and she ends whatever sentence with this goofy-ass smile. And I just want to, like, put my, just, like, face mush her. Yes. Like, hit her. Like, something. She's one of the ones I, I never have a problem just, like, let me, come here, come here, let me talk to you. Yeah. Like, she's the one of the She's ones. always got something to say. It's yeah. great. You yeah. got you to learn how to, I always tell people this, you have to learn how to be, you know, how to have adversity, how to have, be told no and how to be, have somebody not believe in you or something and prove them wrong professionally and still be able to do it. Because mm-hmm. I think that's, you channel that feeling in, but to be able to still be professional and still prove people wrong, like, I don't, I like you said, I don't feel like, you know, 18, 19, 20 years old, man, look, look, how does it feel to not have this song work out you put a bunch of money into? Or, or how does it, it feel yeah, like... It didn't work, huh? Yeah, how, it didn't, you believed in it, but the people didn't really believe in it. How are you going to overcome that? How are you going to overcome, yeah. you know what I'm saying, dealing with other people? How are you going to watch other people be successful when you feel like, deep down, that should be your opportunity? Or how can you still be professional in that way? I really feel people got to go through that because people just want it now, man. They just, they want everything. They want everything. They want everything. And then when they get it, It'll be some kind of feeling and some kind of gratification to it because they worked hard for it and they believed in it. Not just, hey man, I want to do this. Okay, so you just want to be you want it to be given to you. Yeah, you know no, what I mean. No, no, like, no. no. What's the what's the what's the quickest method to get to this? I'm like, why do you want it quick? Why do you want it quick? Why do you want it fast? Why do you want it? Man. Nobody wants to like. Why do you? Want, uh, I completely, I uh, completely agree. And oh. this just goes into my. So, like, the, how hard is it to like pass that on to the son now? Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. he thinks he could just do stuff, and I keep telling him that, like, listen, you can't just do stuff out in the outside world. Like, we love you, and we're gonna love you through these mistakes that you make. But I need you to, you know, understand that everyone else out there they're not your parents and they're not your friends and they don't know you and they don't know how you are Mm -hmm. and i say that in like the most gentle poetic way sometimes and it's you know i remember one time though i kind of like recently like a a few months ago i like we were getting ready for jujitsu in the car because we get there a little early and then he changes in the car and then we go in and i looked at him and i was like i know you don't want to be here And that's okay. But you are going to learn to protect yourself because no one's going to mess with you. No one is going to be able to just push you around and tell you what to do and tell you how to think. This is why you're learning this. So if you don't know what to do when you get in there, just grab them and move them. That's literally all you got. That's where you start. That's it. You, 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 and then you don't. I was yeah. like, I, I was like, I'm gonna tell you this. Your dad's gonna tell you this. So you're not gonna ever have an excuse to not even try. Like, yeah. How do you teach a kid to just get their hands on something and just like, with it a little bit? You know, like, yeah. you, That's the only way I know how. That's what my dad taught me. He put my ass in judo really young. I, I got think- my ass beat. I feel like Bro. cry is like one of the first lessons you should learn. As a child. Yeah. Anyway. And I go, I told him, I was like, I don't care how many times you fail. You are going to get right back up and you're going to grab them and you're going to move them. And something might happen. Now, does that, does that relationship bring you back to your childhood? As you said, your father brought you into it. Was that that same conversation you had with him? Would you was it hard for you to understand? Oh, we never talked about it. Oh, right. <laughs> no, no, no. Nobody <laughs> talked to me about that. 
Oh, you just we're, got, no, yeah, man, we're 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 revelations. Yes, yes. I've had these revelations. Okay, we still in that you age. You know, group I've had a like, lot of yeah. alone time talk, lately, and we've been parents. thinking about this. We didn't talk no, about ourselves. No. He was just like, "Hey, this is what no. you're doing, bro." This no, is, uh, no, uh, uh-uh. uh, no, 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 no. no. Yeah. Like I would lose tournaments. My dad wouldn't talk to me for months. That's that old school rage. My dad was like hard, dude. Like, my dad was in the military. He was like a. He was just a machine, and he was also an Olympic powerlifter and uh, did Sambo. He got his Olympic certificate revoked in 1974, I believe, because his last name is Jewish. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. So, like, there's, like, spite and disrespect, like, wrapped up in his loving self that he dealt with and, you know, it wasn't fun. Uh, I seen a picture of him. Uh, that was uh, your father in the photo. Yeah, that he yeah, yeah. On Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mess with dude. Yeah, like he had like lobster claws for fingers. Oh, man. Like he, yeah, he was like freaking experiment thirteen. Boy. Yeah, no, he was a big guy, and um, you know, he had this like. I think I got it from him a little bit. Like he had this like don't fuck with me vibe around him. He didn't have to say a f- thing. You gonna, you gonna fight this man? You gonna, you gonna oh no, fight? that's my brother. Oh, I was about to say that's, that's my your brother. Fight, you gonna, you gonna, oh no, no, you that's gonna, my brother. Homie, I'm that's <laughs> that is my brother. I'll show you a picture of my dad. Hold on. Okay, I, that's why I was like, if that's if that's him. No, 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 that's that's my brother. My brother actually has a crazy story too. He was in like he the mafia. Like and a, sh- like a crazy story. Yeah. That man, look. R- that's my dad. My boy look like Trevor off a of Grand Theft Auto Five, no, boy. No problem. <laughs> look at man. That's my dad. Still no. Yeah. No Still no. Problem. No. He was. Uh, That's a hell no. <laughs> you couldn't. You know, you couldn't fuck with him. And I love that about him. That doesn't happen enough. People aren't. People are like afraid to like. I don't know. I do it too much. Defend my shield. But like kind of just don't fuck with my vibe. It's too easy. People just allow that too easy. I'm really happy. Like, you know, Roddy made me aware of like me being available too much for people sometimes. I've got nothing left for myself. I'm on my, I don't what? want my... You know, mm, like, I... had that talk, sir. Like, and it was... That's, like, a real, you know, conversation to have with someone, and, like, you gotta take a fucking look at yourself. You're like, oh, right. that's a That's a real uh, vulnerable thing to, like, accept that, too, not fight, like, there's not deflecting on it on your part. It's, it's like, a weight, like, listen, like... There's nothing that we, like, can't love each other through. I really 100% believe that. And, you know, that's, like, one of those things that, like, your parents taught you that Mm -hmm. indirectly Mm -hmm. because they weren't given that love, you know, that, why don't I talk to my mom about this? Like, she still has nothing to change, you know? Like, she's just, but my mom is the shit. She's per. She had to re- she had to restart her life at forty three when we moved here to America with like two hundred dollars in her bank account. Like my mom's a G, a and they found a way back like, in the day. That, back in that time, they found they a way. did. She hustled they and she f- pulling working three f- jobs, learning English. Yeah, she found a way. Yeah, yeah. I leave the times, bro. I know, and like, I'm. You, you had no choice. Literally, you had no choice. Exactly. It, it was it was survival, and when you tap into that survival instinct to survive, you got family. You got she had kids to take care of, married. She had to do what she had to do to make sure you guys are good and survive, and that's what it's all about. And that yeah. goes back to what we were talking With about. Less technology than we have. You know, now. have you right. guys ever seen that Kevin Hart special, like where his dad was in it and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. yes um, yes, yes. and like at the end, like his dad's just asking for stuff. He doesn't even say no. He's just like, I love. Like he ends it with, I love you. Like I'm gonna be here for you. Mm-hmm. You know, like you don't have to, you know, threaten me or oh, sorry, like you don't have to threaten me or like challenge me by asking me for these things. Like I got you. But well, that's what his dad had to do with his father. <sighs> so it's just crazy. It's, it's 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 wild. Like. We, me and him talk about it. We have like these um, situations with our mothers, you know, and mm-hmm. like, and, and it's and you have some. You, it's cool to have someone you can bounce these things, these feelings, these emotions, these thoughts back and forth with. Because it's, it's like, am I tripping? Yeah. It's like you gotta always check yourself. Like, am I tripping? Hey, tell me if I'm tripping. Should I be feeling this way, or do you have this? Like, so we both have those kind of dynamics with our parents. But I don't know how many of those conversations our parents were openly talking about when they were growing up. 
was bouncing their stuff off of their friends and stuff like that. Yeah. Just like it was just like, it, was, it was just they use it, they use it as that's just the way it is. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Don't ask questions. Don't like no, no, don't talk about your feelings. Like, hey, yeah. punch you in your chest. Hey, <laughs> get up. Stop being stop crying. Stop whining. Like yeah, and now we, we can't, can't do those th- things nowadays. Now we, we're so like we got to look inward. Is it, now we got to look at our feelings. Like, no, it's okay. We, let me take you to a class. Let me take you to like, like watch this video of two minutes of this on YouTube. Yeah, like, let, let this this is going to fix everything. Take this medicine. <laughs> take this this. Take yeah. this that. <laughs> this whole everybody gets a trophy mindset is me- I'm not gonna get into that. But you get you get what I'm saying. Like like only the only place where everybody we were, no just struggling and making like it adds character right it just adds character Absolutely. you can't I think we need to build Kevlar yeah we need yeah like tons. you yes. can't yes. you just can't deny it there's no way of going around it like getting through the muck of life and struggling in something is it's a gift absolutely but like you gotta you're not you can't just be flopping around like fish in there okay like you need to know that like that is, you gotta you. You got to, like, there has to be some type of an end goal. Like, there has to be, like, a reason that you're going through that. You're not just doing it just because you like paint. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Yeah. What's Whatever. It? It's America. Is it, yeah, sure. <laughs> Show enough is. Um, is that how, like, it was with the your MMA sisters coming up, uh, coming up in the game? Talk about that. Like, were y'all kind of, like, taking those same practices on in each a, other? In a, in a way, yeah. I mean, like. Or were y'all more like the, oh, this is the. The mo- this is the feelings and the this is what I always wanted, but I'm in a, but I'm finding it in you. I didn't get it from my parents and growing up. I got it from you. Sisters. Yeah, like yeah. When we um when the the four of us would train, there was definitely like this sisterly bond that would like cloak us, kind of in a sense, like to make it all woo woo and spiritual. Oh. But like <laughs> you know, um, there men just don't have to deal with the shit that we have to deal with I and agree. while we're persevering to hit goals and you know just prepare yourself for fucking war there's like a laundry list of shit that we're fucking dealing with internally that like oh yeah i agree god damn like yeah. you i've know, always said that it's just uh i know you guys are dealing with things i get it it's just it's different spectrums different man yeah. It just, it's not the same. Yeah. And so, uh, I'm a, not asking for like a, you know, pass or whatever, but it's just, it's it's hard. So do you think it's a balance of like women have a longer laundry list of things to deal with, but men have more to of burden to carry? Wait. In a sense, as being the men in the sport? Wait, rephrase that for me. So, men, like... In the science of things, uh-huh. nature, men are the load bearers. Women are the, like the, um, the nurturers, nurturers right. and stuff. So, like, for women to break into other things, y'all have a lot more like barriers to break. Well, here's a the thing: more. is biologically, I don't think we're ever gonna not be nurturers because True. I think for survival, you need nurturing. Truth. That's a whole part mm-hmm. of growth. Like, how are you gonna grow a plant? Like, like. Just son. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know, like, you, I I don't know, it's just, I just feel like women and men in general, I think just the human race is evolving still, and yeah, we have, because of history, we've had designated roles as far as, like, what's natural to us, but, mm. man... Things flop. Sometimes you got to pick up the ball and and run, you know, like, and it doesn't matter what it is. You just got to pick it up. Yeah, we turn into fresh and fit here real quick. Yeah, (laughs) but that's going back to like, you know, (laughs) yeah. I I, I understand. Like, so I have to ask because I'm I'm thinking about it neurally, like neurologically. When you're preparing for war, I used to do boxing training and I, I always remembered the mindset I had to get into to do it. So as a woman, as you said, the thing that you're dealing with, like what zone do you have to, like even doing into that, what zone do you have to tap in? It, as much as you will share about the things you might be going through as you're training or you, as you're going through fighting, what what do you, as a woman, what are you going through in that sense, preparing for? Uh, okay, this this is like, this is the easy 
ever. It's heavy. This is, no, it's, it's not heavy. heavy at all. It's Aww. the easiest shit ever. And this is just across the board. This is like men and women. Yeah. Um. The reason is pretty fucking simple. You just gotta like violence. Mm. And honestly, I like you want to catch a fucking vibe. Put on your favorite music and just start punching the air. Mm. You can't not just like if you throw a punch, you're gonna just like leave, it, let it lie. Like yeah, I don't care. No, not me. I'm like, J- what the? F- Come on, Marie. What the? F-? Like I don't know. That's my personality. Right. I just like violence. And you know what? I can just say that to another person that likes violence, and they're like. Oh yeah, me too. I like violence too. It's right. like it's and then just you connect, right. a commonality, right? Right, right, right. So I, I mean, that doesn't really depend on the sex. But like using violence to relieve some internal pain, great. Sometimes you know, it's therapeutic. I've I've gone into like mitt work sessions, just like zoned in and just. Emotionally drained, you know, like sad, happy, unsure, insecure, nervous, sure of myself, confident, and springy, light, heavy as f- like. It's all relative, man. What is what brings you bring you to the point? Because we was talking off camera. You said, uh, it's, and clarify what you was talking about when you said that you would there's certain certain things that you would never do again. Is that is that like the train? What would you like go back and change? You said it's something you would never do again. I know exactly. Remember the point of what we? Oh, were cutting about. weight. Oh, I would right. never. I would never cut weight again. Like I mean, I would cut like if it was if it was like a reasonable number. Like if I was gonna do like a grappling tournament and it was one hundred and fifty pounds and I had five pounds to cut, that would be easy. That would be that would be actually kind of fun, and it would just be enough weight to be like that. I ain't never doing that again. <laughs> like that's a safe. That's like a really safe amount of weight, but if I, I don't know, I don't though, I don't know if I'd be able to like deplete. I just don't ever, I don't like feeling like my brain is throbbing, for water. How much weight have you had to cut like instantly, like like twenty in the, pounds, in the pounds, court, pounds? In the course of like, like two days, fight. yeah, like a long, like a fight, like before a fight comes, like. I think one time I did um, like fifteen pounds. In two days. Yeah. Just all water. Well, leading up to it, that was, like, I did a water load and stuff. Yeah. People do more. There's guys who do, like, 20 pounds that they can handle. It's mostly water weight. But that's what? all water that your muscles hang on to. Yeah. It's And it's, like, a These very The, the heavier guys weight. or the, low, like the lighter guys? Like, uh, mm-hmm. middleweights and, like, the... So 170s. And the one, yeah, but even the lower guys, too. Like, I know Dustin Poirier cuts, like, 25 pounds. I know for sure. Like twenty or twenty five, oh. like I, I, there's just people. Connor, perfect example. Ask him how much that mother weighs right now. I'm scared to find <laughs> out. It was like, but he, man, he's a shredded dude. He's yeah. like a stack jack dude. Yeah. But then understand like, like his height and body frame and like the amount of weight he has or yeah. doesn't have as much anymore to cut. It's like, and you get the weight, and he's and the people don't understand like you only get older, so it gets harder. I know. As you get older. And you're f***ing up your sh- Yeah. It just sucks. And you're naturally not supposed to, your body's not supposed to naturally do no, that. No, you're also not supposed to lie there at, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning because you can't sleep because you're so f- thirsty and <laughs> all you f- can think about is liquids and food. You're just Instagramming every food, ASMR, or whatever the f- it's called thing. You're <laughs> looking at juicing watermelon. You're looking at, like... <laughs> You're you're looking. It's that your pillow you looking. Your, your pillow to, looking more and more de- de- like delicious. Every, yeah, like you, like you don't want to go to the grocery <laughs> store and shop for the things that you want after you cut weight. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> I mean, you haven't. <laughs> you haven't. You haven't you having dreams. <laughs> you thought you saw a turkey, but it's not. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, like that's a that's a. Just a mindset that just I never I never thought of getting into. I can, I can only imagine how like crazy discipline you have to be for that, and like I already I already know how like crazy discipline you have to be in pro wrestling to do certain some of the things that we do. Yeah. But my God, to like go to those lengths at that highest level, 
with other high level competitors and stuff in the world. Yeah. It's a different level. Of, oh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a different level in intensity. But it's also like they're just like depleting their body, right? And they're about to go duke it out. It's yeah, like going to a battlefield. Yeah. Like like, gar- like gladiators. Oh, yeah. So it's just, it's, uh, the circumstances are nuts. And it's, um, it's just so easy for people to digest people. You don't, you know, there's people who don't really have to think about it. And, uh, like, man, that's actually, if you really think about it, that's really fucked up. It's and then, like, it's people horrible. go into the gym and then they're like, yeah, you can punch me in the face for three minutes. I'm cool with it. This world was made for you. <laughs> this world was made for you. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I think it's, who said that they were ashamed that it was called an art? Some actress said that, like, you, uh, MMA fighting is, like, she's this, what's her name? She was the one who, like, Probably started, Brie Larson. <laughs> If we're going to talk no, about actresses that say dumb all the time. <laughs> she, uh, she starred in uh, The Devil Wears Prada. She was like the Anna boss. Hathaway? Or, oh. Um, she was the boss. Uh, uh, Meryl Streep. Yeah, Meryl Streep said, like, MMA is, like, Barbaric. it's not an art. Her class of society is just way. Oh, my God, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay. Exactly. You look down at everything as, like, exactly. oh, street dancing. Oh, how barbaric. Oh, oh. But graffiti that's... paint. Oh. She's scoffing at every little thing we do. <laughs> She's high up there. That is that is She never had to fight. Nah. She never had to scrap. Probably a taker. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, baby. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I love Meryl Streep. Coming to a <laughs> coming to a theater the near you with air. <laughs> That's why I got the straw. Do your job, X. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Golly. So, so I always ask this. <laughs> I know exactly how I'm going to advertise this episode. Please don't. No. I know exactly how ah. we're going to push this to the society, to the world of pro Roddy wrestling. told me to think. <laughs> think. Think. Um, that, that's actually what we wanted to go into, like the competitive nature between you and um, Roddy. And you, you know, because I've been in the ring with Roddy. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he reminds me of your father. Anyway, um, <laughs> so, yeah, I've been in the ring with Roddy, man, and he's a very competitive guy. Great person, one of my favorite, like TZ said, one of his one favorite, favorite people that we've ever, I've ever done. With, like, with Amazing the era, <laughs> specifically Roddy and that whole group. It was awesome. It was fun. But, man, he's a very competitive dude and a very competitive mindset and a motor. And you are a very competitive person. I don't have the same motor as him, though. Actually... Man, I have it in my own way. Yeah, I must say it's it's different yeah. different levels of it, like yeah. tier, different tiers and different ways. So, but how is that like when y'all both clash on ideas, philosophies, <laughs> and com in combat? Because he's a com he's a combatant. You're a combatant. Things that you think work <laughs> may not um, he think will work. You listen. <laughs> Listen, you know, great pro wrestler, you MMA. You, is, what do you got to call bull on some of the things that? All I'm going to say is because I really oh, believe give, that give the juice. Mm. Be the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Solve the problem. Uh, it's. We always end up. Understanding each other. You know what? We do. Did it take a while to get there? <laughs> it still does. Ah, there we go. It still does. <laughs> Humans, yes. But that is why, that is why he is like one of my favorite people. Like, uh, if I can communicate beautiful. with him about something, I can communicate with anybody. And and that's just, I just but like. also the other way around, too. Exactly. And like, I, I. It's my favorite thing in the world. That's what women do. They love it. Like you said, that's, that's when neurological do. stuff starts kicking in, man. <laughs> and nature <laughs> at its core. The human nature, bro. Listen, it's all good. That, that's that's, that's, all, that's, that's, that's <laughs> all. That's why I that's like. All I need. He's my number one fan. And listen, if I ever do something stupid, he's the only one I expect to tell me. You know what I'm saying? So if he calls you on it, you you more respect it coming from him. 
I mean, right now talking about it, yeah, that's a lovely idea. But like mm-hmm. when he calls me, he's like, "Hey, that was stupid." I'm like, "What the?" Fuck? Like, <laughs> I why'd fucking- you say <laughs> take her on that episode, bro? What were you thinking? <laughs> Come on, man. We I taught you better than this. Come on, wrestling media. But you know how they be. That's the person you need, though. Ex- that's that's the that's what you need. But you also have to understand, there's this other side of him that is like so completely opposite of that. <laughs> I've never seen it. And you- <laughs> No, and you probably won't ever. <laughs> probably not. Right, and you know it's probably shout like, out Roddy. <laughs> it's like you know, it's you're right. He's a very special human, and, and, and that, that's a great that's a great dynamic. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you don't know it, when you're with somebody. It takes a while to kind of figure out what your dynamic is, and then once you kind of let your you know you let the guard down, and you and they let their guard down, and you really know him, you're like you know what, I really rock with this person, and you get to see a side. That when he probably goes out that door and closes that door, he doesn't show anybody else. But you get to see it. Your son gets to see it. And that's that's the great dynamic that you get to have. You know? It's because he's a crazy motherfucker. And I just, I also really fell in love with the way that he wrestled. Like, that I think it's what he did. And it's what he, like, is still capable of doing. I, so my dog, my dog was holding nothing back. And he was like, No, yep. he, the mother, <laughs> he's wrestling like he never wants to go back to the trailer park and i you can't turn that off there is that is the only thing that wrestling fixes and eases for him for just a split second right and you know a lot of people can't say that yeah tell tell the victims that that he's laid waste to over these many years (laughs) (laughs) like this is why he's doing this man (laughs) this is why this is why your back hurts this is why your vertebrae is twisted so so what is what are some of the things that you guys uh if there is anything outside of you know sports you guys connect on what do you guys like to do what are some of the also the other connections that you guys have do you guys like to travel what do you guys like to do together uh we do like a lot of like right now we're cuz we we have a house like our house is like our extracurricular activity like we oh, yeah. love our house we love doing stuff around our house, um, but we do like a lot of family stuff too. Like, uh, we play a lot of games with each other. Like, it's just honestly like mm. commercial. Yellow, <laughs> like the, the like shit. Nintendo Switch family. I mean, we do. Mm. We uh, we don't really play Switch. We're like we like to be up in people's faces, like Connect of Four. Course, uh, yeah, so yeah, we talk. Course, shit, who, okay, okay, that's how I know this is a dangerous family. <laughs> who gets in somebody's face about Connect Four, my brother? But Troy starts. <laughs> like. Who gets in anybody's face? I'm like, I'm about to let you know. I'm about to jump your. Right no, now. he's like this. No, I'll tell you how it is. He's like this. And I'm like, don't want to do that. Probably don't want to do that. Like, what do you mean, Ace? <laughs> y'all, y'all took that red and blue way too seriously. So, like, yo, yo, you on my side? You on my block, son? You got three <laughs> over here too. I'll cross you real quick with this two blue right here, homie. Y'all like, too real. You know, you be sitting there playing checkers, and you're like, oh, I'm about to triple jump this. <laughs> what? And you make eye contact like. Oh, yeah. That's what I say. Competitive. Jump they have, yeah. yeah. Competitive. Like, like that, and that's how I know they're competitive. You ask what they like to do together. They say compete. That's <laughs> no, why we, I ask two fighters. We like, like no, the, no, 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 no. We like, y'all to, like to fish. We like. like, 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 <laughs> like <laughs> y'all like knit Listen. sweaters, mo. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we knit sweaters. Oh, God, no. Lots of sweaters. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? He's a PWG baby. Um. um so you know with uh with that like we just we do listen to music a lot yeah that's where we connect the most on music like we we yeah. have brought like i got we uh we were gifted a like microphone and like karaoke set and we will jam out as a family jam out me and chris we haven't in a while but like we used to like just listen to music and just drive around and sh- and we, it's fun. So you need to come over. Bro. Like legit. Hit that mic, bro. Legit. Like we, we, yeah. Troy, if Troy wants to catch a vibe, he is not afraid to tell us. Top rope, catch a vibe. Legit. Listen, that is, that is amazing. Now the question that I have with that is what music is playing during this? Oh God. <laughs> during this. Follow up. Now what is, what is playing? Are we, are we into the. I'm gonna make fun of this right now. Are we are we into the Limp Biscuit no. wrestling rock rap mode? Of, 
<laughs> Slam, hold it down. <laughs> Show them who's around. Yeah. Are we in Down now? with the brown. Down with the brown. Brown upside down. Off the top rope. Yeah. Yeah. Or are we in the. Two feet in your nose. Oh, are sure. we... I'll give you a little taste. Oh. I'll give you a little taste. Taste. No, she did, she did throw a, a freaking left hook at me one time with a track. I was like. This is what Troy I'm always going to play it for him. Oh, yeah. All okay, right. Okay, All right. Ready? Go. And I'll play you like a complete opposite one. We do not own the rights to these <laughs> to these records oh, here. Gonna, is somebody going to? No, nobody is. I just say that. If you play. All rights reserved to the artist. So. All right. Mm-hmm. I want to make sure I'm not going to watch that. That's Troy's favorite part. <laughs> yo, that karaoke in that house be live. Yo, yo, but then we also have, like, right now he's into, like, the Jaws theme. <laughs> That's very yo, It's so dramatic fa- She was a violent person She said this at the beginning of the show Yeah Yeah Like You, you want to defend yourself At judo class And the ocean Here we go but he, <laughs> <laughs> We watch it Jaws <laughs> He gets a lot of love too We love that We love that kid to death Yeah y'all do Yeah y'all do That's Um, And then I kind of uh, <laughs> Okay Don't laugh at me but I like I pulled one up from like back in the day that he loves. There's a good chance we'll laugh at you. Yeah. Baby Oh, this is the way I live, y'all. This Rano He knows the lyrics to that wow. whole song. That and hard. That and um that's when that and like Young Berg was out though. Yeah. Bring it back. Oh my god, what yo Yeah. What and that's all that man had, but that's all he needed. All right, I'm <laughs> one more. Oh, one Lord, more. You are blessing. I'm the sorry. Pod. I'm sorry because I know you guys blessing. speak in music. So this is a complete left one, and uh, he he acts like he doesn't like it right now. But <laughs> keep playing it in karaoke. He'll get it. Wow. We don't, matter of fact, we don't ride enough to this song, bro. We don't, we ride, don't, we don't, we don't we ride don't, enough. We don't, bro. We got a two hour drive today. So. And we did not play no <laughs> bad boys. So. All right, well, who's the artist? Uh, <laughs> Nobody ever knows. Inner Circle. Jericho and them? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I never knew who made this. I just know I the song. I never knew. He I'll loves the. And he loves the lyrics. You put it on your father. You put it on your mother. You put it on your sister and your mother. It's like he loves yeah. that song. There's a lot more too. Like this kid, this kid's music taste is top notch. I I got I gotta that boy say, gonna be a triple OG man for real. Like he you building G Easy right now. You don't, <laughs> you don't even know it. That boy gonna be a triple threat, bro. That's all I'm saying is just, 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 just yeah, you see you see him you see him every week. Just remember my, my face next to him because pretty soon he's gonna be like, I want to get in the music. Like, yeah, Come no, on we don't worry. He he Come like on us. I wish you guys. Well, you'll eventually see it. Like when he feels when he feels it and he feels himself. Like he's just like moving and just he just tries dance. He'll start break dancing. He'll like put on a jacket and a hat because he just wants to chill. Like he wants to catch a vibe. Like he just wants to. You need to chill. Yeah, man. It's the best. You building the coolest, cool, cool. cool <laughs> this boy gonna run for president in two two thousand sixty. Oh, I'm voting. No, I'm do voting. It. Yeah, I'm voting for him. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got you got good roots, kid. You got good roots. He's singing this the way I live, and he gonna be all right. Yeah, you gonna be all right. <laughs> he gonna be all right. You gonna be all right. You gonna be enterprise soon, bro. Oh, uh, respect it. Yeah, but um, man, so, so we gonna fast forward a little bit, man. Change pace. Go over yes. to the AEW side, man. You getting mentored by three time AEW World Champion John Moxley, one of the, honestly like the top minds in pro wrestling right now yeah. that are actively still going. You know, like one of the like honestly pioneers of AEW yeah. in a sense, man. You could sue like. 
he wasn't the one of the core original guys, but godly would this place not be I, what it is without him. Yeah, I like I wh- think yeah. So how's it? How's that been under that? I'm tree? sorry, I got excited. Um, yeah, it's that's been, what, yeah, that's a good thing. You know what? Like it's really cool because uh, he just gives me like a little feedback after my matches, and I just um, I don't know. It's so. I feel like he states some obvious sometimes, like, I just don't see. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, you know, um, maybe it's just, like, the way that he had said has said, like, a few things to me that I just, like, I don't know. I just absorb it a little bit better. But, like, his, his perspective on that, that I do is very interesting. And, like, some of the things that he has suggested for me and I tried clicked. And, like... You know, I just, um, at this point, I just really have to take it one match at a time. I'm not trying to, like, I know I know my role. Like, I still have some work to do, but I'm not very far off, and I'm not going to be very far off for, like, a long time. Like, I'm, it's going to be clicking for me, whether it wants to or not. And um, hey. he's definitely helping me kind of, like, fuse that together. But I also don't feel like I'm stretching myself thin. I get to like really. I'm not being told. I'm. This is such a special opportunity that is here right now. Like I'm literally getting an opportunity to really learn how an authentic me operates within this system, and I can't fuck it up. That's how I feel. That's like I need that pressure. I need so it, it forces me to like and chill out and just enjoy this process because this is a moment of my life and uh that's kind of like you know they say man one percent a day is 365 percent for the year man that's what i'm saying and and i think it's really cool how this all started from like we had a meeting we had one of those meetings Mm -hmm. and they were like let us know if you need some help and everybody left and i just went up to him and i'm like i need some help I want to work, like, yeah. How does it feel to have that, 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 that good, that co-sign from somebody who's accomplished so much and somebody you know that has your back? Sometimes when we are in our line of work, it, it's it's hard to find peers that we can trust and take us, you know, under the wing and really believe in and something that we want to do. With you knowing that he's coming with good intentions, he wants you. He sees where you're at in the future. You know what I mean. And, yeah. being, and being able to give you that advice, how does that feel to have that person to be able to talk to? Because we all need that person, you know what I mean? Essentially to be able to say, hey, am I doing the right thing? Are these yeah. things, you know, am I going in the right direction? You know what I mean? We are that for each other and what we do. You know? Yeah, because you guys understand each other. Right. Like, you know where you want it to go. Right. Um, I'm still formulating that destination for myself. It's becoming a little bit more clear. Got you. Um, I... It's really interesting because, like, I just never thought, like, I just, I, I don't know. Like, I never, I was so open-minded of, like, where all this was going to kind of go. And I never thought I'd be in this position for some reason. Mm-hmm. But, like, this is, this has been a. What position you think? Uh, Being a force to be reckoned with and not just something else. Okay. You know, like, yeah, yeah. like this is a real opportunity for me to double down on myself and over dedicate on some things because I know like what I'm up against. I turned 35 this year, but I'm in my prime. Mm-hmm. I work really hard to keep my body intact. It's really hard work to do that every day. If I miss a day, it hurts, you know, and like, I've had to like really double down on my because I do believe that I can offer some change to the women's division and push it in a better direction. But in order to do so, I just got to like pony the up, you know? What do you think those things require? Especially like still relatively new in the wrestling business yep. and all the things that you learned that you found out that, even like maybe your mind 
has changed about opinions on certain things of it, just because the more you, that you get pushed out there to perform in it, mm-hmm. you're going to get new experiences, you're going to get new thoughts, and those things are going to evolve and change a little bit. So what are the things that now that you feel like, I would say, necessarily add to the wrestling business, but you see where you slate yourself in it to make the change. I think you told me this in passing, um, and it's the same thing that I've been, uh, like, my my pedigree, everything that I've done up to this point should matter. I didn't break my body over and over and over again to just be in this position and then just be like, oh, yeah, but that's like, you know, that's so long ago. No. I accomplished this as a young person that, like, I am I believe that I'm in that percentage, that special percentage of taking certain risks, just like you, just like you, in the fields that you are interested in. Mm-hmm. And I was gr- lucky enough to be beside some people who took some risks on themselves and also understood that it was much bigger than them. And very early on, they weren't up their own assholes. And they were reminded of what was important consistently. And, you know, I don't know. Like, I just, my matters and I feel like what I can offer to the rest of the women's division is individuality and, like, the chances that you took to learn new things in your life, they can matter if you know understand how to, like, utilize them correctly. I feel like you can base your entire meaning of being on that company, being in AEW, as that, that baseline right there. I matter, everything matters. Yeah. That's a, that's a, such a small morsel of a nucleus of a nugget that it can naturally grow. Yeah. And you can watch it take you where it needs to be rather than just like trying to travel and move around and motion and stuff and tra- hoping you grab something on the way. Right. That's, a lot of, that's why I see a lot of the industry. It's like everybody's just doing this, hoping they snag something in the process. And that's one of one of the many conversations that I have with, with Roddy too. Like, because mm-hmm. he's been around it for so long. and He's seen so many different evolutions. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I think sometimes even he has a hard time understanding. I'm just like a different beast. Like, I, um, I'm just, just, I'm just different. And I'm, I enjoy that about myself. I'm really like really understanding that more. And, uh, yeah, just, it should bring the competitiveness back. It should bring some Mm. of like the, okay. Like, why not? You know, like, all this contrived bullshit, yeah. all this, like, anybody can fucking wrestle. Like, mm. let's fucking do it a little bit. Mm. And if you're good at something, say it. Go with that. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. really bring the strengths up. You don't want to go into a fight and be like, hey, ankle hurts. Up. Like you're not gonna, do, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you're not gonna go into a fight and be like, "Yeah, man, I'm not gonna be throwing this left jab very often. Oh, I'm gonna just turn this up." Like you can't, you're not gonna do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you really, I just, hey, I just try to tell the girls like, listen, I'm gonna fuck you up, but it's us against the men here, okay? Maybe that's even a concept I don't understand yet, but I just know that the real competition is in each other. It's we all know. <laughs> said what I said. <laughs> I said it. I live it. No. Um, now maybe that might get me canceled. Who knows? <laughs> women don't get canceled. What are we talking about? <laughs> um, what about like the um, name me one X Psy. Name me one canceled woman. Amanda Bynes. That's a whole nother speech. <laughs> that's a that's a different that, that that's a whole different thing. 
That's a little different. <laughs> but, um, um, no, but I would say, like, so what do you say about, like, I think before you, before you fight the people in the locker room, I feel like we're fighting the critics <laughs> before we even get, even to, that, get man. to the ring. Like, what do you say about that? The people gift that, culture. Yeah. Oh, what, wrestle like you're going to wrestle for a gift. Yeah. Like, what do you say about the people that are, like, not against it, but they're, like, skeptical? They're skeptics on your philosophy, your style, your experience. They just don't believe. Because I feel like those guys, a lot of these reports and these, like, like um, forums out there, they only they always like to live in the present. What they see, what they see now, what this given, what, like, and that's where they kind of stamp you as, as what is now. They live and make their money on the current they don't. They don't make their money on predicting the future. They try to, and they like when say it happens, they like to once again bring it back to the now. But they're not investing in futures. They're investing in now, mm-hmm. and the now is the now is kind of like where um we exist in it, but mm-hmm. our mindset is future. And that's why that's why we make the money that we do. That's why we have the careers that we do. That's yeah. why you are still here because you weren't thinking of the now back in your twenty three. Yeah. You look to the future when you got to twenty seven. Then you look to the future again when you got to thirty one. Then yeah. you look to the future again to get you where you are now. Mm-hmm. That's why you have a career that you do. That's why you can constantly keep evolving and moving and pushing to be in a women's division, to be in a position to help build it, because we look to the future of building a women's division. But a lot of these reports and these reporters and all that stuff, they live in the now because that's where things are happening. Things happen now. Things happen now. No, let's yeah. not look to the future because that's not a guaranteed asset of money. I can't make money off of the future. They make money off of the now. I don't know these people. And that's, I, the pro- that's, that, that's not the problem. No, That's it's good. You issue. shouldn't know them. It's but issue. they know you. So who's working <laughs> who? <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> I just think these people probably didn't get enough love from their moms, and I'm sorry for that. You're talking about they still in the basements, bro. Hey, they ain't loving on them. But uh, (laughs) what it's just, it's just sad because like uh, they're allowed to have opinions, you know, and that's pretty much where it starts and ends. They're allowed to have opinions. I'm not gonna really divulge in talking about them because it doesn't really make sense. I'm not going to tell somebody they, they're not allowed to, to, like, think or feel what they're doing. Like, I, it's not on me. I just got to, I know in my heart of hearts that, like, I'm on the right path. And you, uh, maybe they don't see it right now, but uh, we're cooking. With, with that said, everything that you said that you're working towards, things that you're building, things that you're figuring out and things that you find and you know what I mean, about yourself as you as you grow. What are even even in just AEW or even in life as well, but you can say AEW specifically, what are what are your goals? What are you shooting for? Like are you shooting like, you know, not only to just to be champion, but as your career grows, you know what I mean, and you and you're becoming one of the top stars in the business, what are you, what are your goals that you have written for yourself that you want to accomplish? Hmm. In general, I really just want to be a difference maker, whether it be in the ring, backstage, you know, it professionally. I just want to be a difference maker. Like, I, I'm not trying to rob anybody of anything. I just, I want to bring out, I guess, uh, I just want to bring something else out in myself and do it authentically and have it matter. And I know that's a little bit general, but like, right. it's, that's honestly, I, I couldn't tell you that a few months ago. Mm. I couldn't tell you that. Like, mm. you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't, um... But then, like, in layman's terms, I want to be able to figure out how to quadruple my value. Because I feel like I I could. I could. And I feel like that's a possibility. Or maybe I'm just 
and crazy. And I, you know, I'm going to learn that lesson. You guys just, I'm just obviously like saying it. <laughs> like you guys are, I'm going to figure out if I can or not. And I, uh, no, to you put know, that. We, to, you know, you can, you just got to figure out when can you do it? Yeah. Cause it's timing. It's like yeah. all of the special ingredients that go into wrestling, which make it so f- awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you, it, the the if the thought has entered your mind, you know you can do it. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of like, how do I compile all this information to get it to where I need to go? Yeah, do it. Yeah, that's all it is. Uh, for me, I, I honestly speaking at, on experience, I have a lovely group of men right here around me that can also attest to this. Build a team. You build a team. That's the I I. And that's what we're doing right now. That. Baby steps. Is. Like literally. Yes, exactly. It, and it takes time because it's also finding the right teammates. Yeah. Not yeah. just any. Not everybody can just be in the team. Yep. And the team can't be thirty-five people. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And everybody has Listen. to serve their purpose, know their role, and and that brings nothing but you know that brings acceleration to not only the the team but the overall plan. You know. What yeah. I mean? And that's when everything will grow. Like you don't have to have everything figured out right now. You just have to keep going. And that's the thing. And then everything naturally just comes around you. You find different people. You learn different things. Different people on your team comes along, and then it happens. You don't have to say, oh, well, you know, in three years, I want to be world champion. Or like, in three years, I want to have a hit record on the radio. Like, it's not – it doesn't work that way. You have to – if that's the long-term goal, that's good. But like you said, you're figuring it out. You're taking it day by day, and you're just going it – you're going to the day at a time that everything – the force field is just going to come around you. Yeah. And then it'll come to you. Then you say, you know what? I think realistically, you know, I could do this in this period of time. But you, you answer in that the perfect way because everybody just wants to go here, but they miss <laughs> all this. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I just feel like I've also done that enough in my life where I just don't want to miss all that stuff, especially for Troy. Like he needs to see it. Yeah. Like he sees me and Roddy just like we work relentlessly to keep our bodies healthy, and we, like, I'm not a materialistic person, but. Well, I spend two hundred and fifty dollars on an IV. I will do it. I will sit me in that chair, stick me. Like that is just that's that's like our luxury for ourselves because like we know how important staying healthy is, and it just plus it's our love language, and I don't know. Like I had people in my life. My dad was like a very athletic guy, but like towards the end of his life, he just kind of. Uh, like killed himself with like smoking and drinking very like slow death. He has his, uh, he had a heart aneurysm, his heart like valve exploded. And he, it's somebody who just like, who couldn't move anymore. Just getting had to drink it away. And it's just, you know, I know how important, like, it's just important for me. I just want to stay as, as healthy as possible. So I could just beat the out of Troy for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> my mama can still beat my ass. I ain't I'm saying, this is, <laughs> like y'all laugh, it's possible. Yeah, I see my mom. <laughs> mom like, that's how I was raised. <laughs> yeah, I'm st- uh, like, there's two people I'm afraid of: Brock Lesnar and my mom. Yeah. That's hilarious. And I'd, I'd I'd open the door to go against Brock before I go against my mom. <laughs> so like, when I was younger, yeah, my mom still has the vicious right hand I ever seen. Like, it's different, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't beat my child. I just like pin him down sometimes, and I'm just like, hey, man, you can't just come up to mommy and just punch her in the stomach. You can't do that. You just can't do that. <laughs> like, no, no, listen, listen now. This is going to end very badly. <laughs> yeah. fight but my, he's I, a boy, too, so it's yeah, like, it's crazy. Yeah. I'd fight my dad in his prime before I fight my mom now. Facts. Nah, I wouldn't fight my mom. Like, my mom's I've, different. Matter of fact, I've watched my mom fight. Yeah. I've watched my mom get in fights, and I'm like, nope. Yeah, man. I think that traumatized me as that a woman. That <laughs> woman, that woman beast is different, man. Women beasts are different. I, I just, you know, I, I nothing but love to y'all, man. <laughs> nah, man, cause I swear, man, that's altered beast right there. Like, for like, him. when my dad telling me something when I was younger, I'd be like, all right, man, you know what I mean, and I, I get it. But my mom's looking at me different, and like, like the the, I, I can't. It's hard to explain, man. It's different, and like he said, it's different coming from moms, man. It's just a different type thing. You, the respect level different. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's judo and then there's mom foo. Yeah. You know mom, both. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> new. Yeah. Man, let's get into the fun fun. All right, what, what are we watching nowadays? What, what's on television and the movies? It's like, uh, what's popping? I just saw the Blue Beetle trailer earlier today. 
I rocks with it. Blue Beetle trailer. Yeah, it's a uh, Dis, Dis- uh, not Disney. Um, uh, DC. It's a DC. Um, oh, I'm gonna check that. I gotta check that yeah, out. Check it out. The trailer looks actually good. Like D- it's a DC um superhero, Blue Beetle. And right now, I think DC been doing a little bit better with these trailers than Marvel as of late. Oh, the Flash. The Flash looks dope. Yeah, the Flash does look really good. Flash I looks did dope. see the Flash I one. on front. Flash um, kind of dope. Flash does look good. What what movie did we just recently watch? I just saw Blue Creed. I still ain't seen it yet. No, I haven't I seen it either. Sure I haven't seen it. The last movie I seen was Scream Six, and I was I, I was kind of a little let down. I um mm. I never seen so many ineffective stabs. Oh. In a, in a, <laughs> And a slasher movie. Was it? <laughs> they just doubled down on the same problem. <laughs> All right, you, like Jen, oh Jen Orte- like now it seems like Scream's afraid to kill people now. I'm like, ah, come on, the how's he? How's yeah? We're at that. We're at the franchise. Like y'all afraid to let these characters go now? Sometimes so like, you make you stabbing make- four foot eleven Jen Ortega in the spine. <laughs> yeah, you can how's make, she running? You can make too much of something sometimes. Like it should have ended yeah. at a certain point. Like just the franchise, just because the franchise keeps making money doesn't fast and free. Oh, doesn't, ah, doesn't ah. mean you have to keep making them. Like at some point, you got to know. Like that song goes, you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, so bro. <laughs> you already know what I'm saying, that right? Uh, that, you know, you got to know when to fold the cards, bro. Like you've done everything you could do. Like this, this Creed movie was was good, but the story, the writing was all over the place. Word, yeah. word. okay. The, it was just, I haven't been hearing that lately. He, he I'm, wanna, not, I'm not gonna spoil. He wanna be the Joker so bad, bro. Uh, the, uh, he does. <laughs> so bad. Look at him. <laughs> what is that run? That is that is exclusive exclusivity of you don't know who the hell you are. But <laughs> um, that is like, you know, it's 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 different. Like with movies, you know, the mom gets I'm spoilers. So you know, and then this thing like happened? this happened, uh, the the mom the moms the moms get sick. Then his homeboy you know, comes out of jail and he wants to fight the homeboy. Then the wife is dealing with this. You know, she uh, is hearing impaired. Then he's going through this with himself. And then the trainer says, like, it's a whole bunch of stuff. The whole bunch of, it's a whole bunch of stuff. And then all of a sudden they fight. And it's like, bro. We got to solve X, Y, Z, A, B. Sylvester did a great job in Rocky movies of tying everything together. Yes, it was a little yeah. sappy. Sometimes. No, but he knew to do that. Right, he knew, he to, knew do to do that. That's that's, that's, that's his saying. that's his franchise. Right. Yeah. He knows that. He yeah. knew he how to that. tie everything together. So you, when Adrian was was alive, going through this thing, it happened. When he was going through his sickness, it happened. There was a reason. It, they dove deeper in it. Creed four. The, the last Creed was just like a bunch of just stuff. Plots, plots. And then they then they swing and they're fighting, and then he wins and match over. It's like. Well, now I gotta Missing see the it. details. I, yeah. I, yeah, I, I plan I, on seeing it. Now yeah. I have. Now I have to see it. I, I have, have to it. see the new John so, Wick. I have to see that. Oh too. my god, me too. I miss oh, and uh, violence. Uh, <laughs> so I <laughs> heard it was so good. I heard it's amazing. I heard it's amazing. So, um, with your background in MMA, is it difficult for you to watch like certain? Fighting movies? No. Or you take it, or oh you take, no or you way. go like, all right, come on, man. You just gave him the arm. No, like, are you no, like, no, no, they do it right. Okay. I've, you know, what's funny is uh, the guy that, the guy who is uh, John Wick's um, action, uh, or the uh, stunt double. Co- coordinator or double? Double. Okay. Stunt double and coordinator, I think, actually. Ooh, wow. I got to double check on that. Um, he owns a studio in Marina Del Rey, 8711, that I actually went to a few times. I got hooked up with it through Eric Paulson, okay. who I trained, who, who, uh, uh, trained Josh too, Josh Barnett. Um, we went to his, he, dude, he, the, the, like his brain like is insane for that. For, uh, I like, love it, seeing those guys, man. I dude, love talking to them. Dude, it's insane. I just have a massive, like, they just know how a scramble kind of can go, like, mm-hmm. with two high-level fighters, I guess. Uh, th- th- there's that, but there's, like, a art to, like, making it into a, th- a cinematic way, too. Did you see everything all at once? Yes. So, like, that Incredible. was fantastic. There was professional wrestling in it yes it was so good it was so good it was so, so good, good. It won. and like i watched the movie deserved twice. every award that it won too and oh jamie lee God. curtis was fantastic in it um, all right all right that's one thing i know y'all like are so out there and like upset and pissed off that angela bassett did not win best supporting actress over jamie lee curtis 
Jamie Lee Curtis deserved to win. Dude, she had hot dogs as fingers. Come on. Yeah. Like, Jamie Lee Curtis had a way more crazy, more difficult, the, the way more, first of all, she had action scenes, like crazy action scenes. Angela Bassett did some too, but Jamie Lee Curtis had like so much more difficulty yeah. and the concepts were like so much more broad. Yeah. She deserved to win that. Let's stop the hashtag this, cancel this. And, and like, like, we like said earlier. I'm like, I know she's black, great, one of the greatest black actresses of all time, if not the greatest, but Jamie Lee Curtis deserved to win. I'm sorry. Bro, and like we said yeah. earlier, bro, not everybody can win, bro. There's only one award, dog. But everybody it, can it, lose. Everybody, ah, everybody, 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 everybody. Yeah, no, Jamie Lee Curtis is a G. She's Dude, been in yeah. like a lot of very interesting roles in her that entire. Was by far the most interesting though. Yeah. By far. She's Culmination. The, it, she's like one of the few people in Hollywood you don't hear anything bad about. She's naturally a good person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's awesome. A, that's a good so, yeah. Thing. So I know like everybody trying to get mad and the hashtag Angela Bassett should have won whatever the book is trying to get started. It ain't gonna work. Jamie how sh- how would how would have sh- how would she wear hot dogs for fingers? And Angela Bassett wasn't like only in like thirty minutes of the movie <laughs> compared to Jamie Lee Curtis being all the way through. And she was the best part of the movie. The best movie of the year. Come on, like what are we doing? I, that, that, that's one of those things I can't say it's a white black thing. I can't say it. No, like she literally had the better role, and the more difficult, challenging role too. In a better, in a better movie. I'm sorry. Hey man, Jamie deserves her for her flowers. Angela does too. But you know, guess what? There's always yeah. other opportunities, and there's only gonna be there only could be one winner. So you know, yeah. if you don't get it, everything ain't gotta Bullshit. be canceled. <laughs> everything ain't gotta be canceled. You know what? Roddy just actually finished watching. We watched it. I watched like a few episodes with him. He watched that Rick Rubin uh, documentary where like he. I didn't see the the doc. Yeah. yeah. Like where they like make music and stuff. Oh, I'm in. Like what's I'm it in. called? Um, I have no idea. What's it called? I'm in. Okay. Hold on. It was his, actually his really. His philosophy on making music. Yeah. Is, yeah. 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 Is Emmy worthy. How he creates. How he thinks. Of it, how he helps artists make music. Yeah. He's such a zen type person. He it's it's amazing how he does it. Uh, Shangri La. Yeah, it's like the house that like that he sends artists to, and it's like Darby just it, went there. Shut up. Yeah, he just posted it. Really? Yeah. That's cool. He told me it was going, but uh, last week at TV. But Darby just showed up there. Yeah, like it's he's he's like he doesn't wear shoes. He's connected to the earth, and there's like. There's nothing that you don't need. Matt? I know what is going on. That that's Matt, the dude that we're fan in the corner. Uh, uh, yeah, no, dude. Uh, that's who sponsored our podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a uh, TV time. Anyway, yeah. continue. Uh, no, no, it's it was he. It's just, it's just that it's just like a house for artists to like really be artists. Yes, and it's cool. It was cool. I oh. didn't get to watch the whole thing, but from the few episodes that I watched, it was it was pretty awesome. I would love to like just take like a day there. I don't need a week, but just a day or two. I mean, if Darby went, I don't know. Put in a word. I I, I met. Uh, remember when he came? Yeah, to the he PC? came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, that. That was cool. I was like, you know, I didn't even know who he was at that time. Oh, I knew. Like, me I'll and, say it. I see. didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know the man. I, heard, I didn't know, but the you man. know the name. That's who. I do. And yeah. then the pieces started coming together. I pl- I'm also very bad with names. It's bad. Me and O'Reilly uh, uh got out of the parking lot together, and we were walking over, and we were just like, "Was that was that Rick Rubin?" Like, Dude, I think that's Rick Rubin. <laughs> so we just started walking over, and I was like, "It's it's Rick Rubin." I'm like, that's "If there's any place he's going to be here in Orlando, Florida, it's the yeah, this would be here." <laughs> um. I've just started, uh, I'm in the middle of, uh, I think I like two more episodes left of Swarm. Swarm has been excellent. What is that about? It's on Amazon Prime. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you. Oh, shit. It's basically, it's like this chick is um, really obsessed with like this Nyjah artist. But it's a play on Beyonce and the fan base, the rabid fan base that Beyonce has on social media. You know, like the they their fans on Twitter will hashtag and cancel you and stuff like that. Right. So, or they have like this rabid, like crazy fan base. So this girl is like super obsessed with her, like overly obsessed with her, and um, she like she, she um literally like can like had credit cards like canceled and went through like three or four or five credit cards or whatever and went broke 
to afford tickets to go see her time and time and time and time again. Holy moly. And so she finally, like... That's nuts. So she finally, uh, um, uh, her sister ends up dying or whatever. And now she correlates, like, not the artist with her sister dying, and now she goes insane. So now anybody that talks about Nigel's not the greatest artist or whatever, she finds their location, hunts them down, <laughs> and, like, k- kills them. It's crazy. But, like, and like it's, it's obsessive. Like, she'll, like, move to the state and, like, be there for, like, months trying to track this person down. Are you kidding job, me? Gets a job, changes her identity to track this person down on social media to kill him. Uh, uh, Donald Glover directs it, directs the show. So it's shot like Atlanta. Oh, my there. God. Yeah, it's on oh. Amazon Prime. It's like a quick watch, eight, eight or nine episodes, 30 minutes each episode. And you're like, somebody's going to freaking, something's happening. And then, like, whenever she starts getting that tick to hurt somebody, you'll hear, like, buzzes. Oh, my God. Get, I'm, so, I'm yeah, good. It's, I'm good. No, you got it's, it's, it's really good. I really, really don't good want show. another reason. No more violence in the household. Yeah, I don't man. know. That's, but yeah, that's Swarm, crazy. Swarm has been killing it for me. I can't wait to see. I got to finish this, the last two episodes. It won't take long, but I got to get through that. But it's so good. Um, uh. Donald Glover is going to take over Hollywood as a director. His eye for this, this, the uh, for cinema, cinematography. Yeah. Him, Jordan Peele, those guys are in like yeah, the Jordan same. Really they're they're in like that same realm and stuff. And Billie Eilish has a scene, has a episode. Like she's not like a scene. She has like a full episode. Like she's like a an actual good character. I'm like, yo, that's amazing. Yeah, they're like they're pl- implementing people into the show really well. Like um, Dan- Damson Idris from Snowfall mm. is a character mm-hmm. on there. Oh, the, the Chloe Bailey. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's that, the only thing I know like that. episode. That's like the first like minute of the episode is like Chloe Bailey and him have a sex scene. So the Twitter went crazy because Chloe Bailey's showing her body and stuff. Wow. It's 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 nuts. It's a but it's a good show. It's really oh. good. And Snowfall has been killing it. Like I, I, I I'm seeing tweets of people who have died in the episode and I'm behind. And I'm like, oh, OK, thanks, guys. Dang. I heard about Snowfall. Snowfall is excellent. It's on his final season. So. What are we watching? I feel like watching. I uh, what are y'all actually watching? actually uh, actually just started watching. Um, uh, Snowfalls actually started catching up on. I actually restarted watching The Wire over again so I can understand it like now as an adult what The Wire was right. and how everything is like chess pieces on the board of how. That's the one. That's shot. the one we need to dive into. Yeah, is that I started going back to watch it and I was like, damn. This is really interesting on how it's built. The whole show is built on chess pieces. So if you break down the show, the way people move and the way things are being positioned in the wire is according to a chess board. With like the people, like the drug dealers and stuff like that. It's really interesting yeah. what you watch. Snowfall is kind of like that. Kind of like that, too. yeah. That's uh, crazy. Yeah, yeah it's That's a great it's a great thing. It's a great show when you really like, no analyze. Like you read, like let's say you listen to the analysis without the spoilers, and then you go watch the episodes. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Now that I watch it from being a teenager to now as an adult, it's it's an amazing show. You should yeah. really check out The Wire and just really watch the position of power and the struggle oh, yeah. and how it works. I'm yeah. down with that. Yeah, Breaking Bad did that for me too. That's how me and yeah. that's how yeah. me and, that's how me and Edge became friends. We talked about like the breakdown of analysis of characters because if you watch on YouTube, Breaking Bad was great. Oh man, they do, like the colors of why they wear the shirt and like. Like this camera angle this way, showing this. This is the meaning of that. Why this? Why he cried here but didn't hear? Why everything just links and makes so much sense to like the culmination of the final part of the season. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's it's brilliant stuff. We also we did watch uh, Better Call, uh, not Better, Better Call, yeah, Saul Better Call Saul. Too. That's it. Better That's Call Saul is excellent. That one was really good. I forgot my man's name. What's the man's name? That I forgot his name. The the restaurant owner. I love his character. The uh the light skin guy from Better Call Saul no from Breaking Bad um light skin guy when he died he died from the explosion oh uh, face uh, fell off uh, uh, so, uh, um his name was Gus Gus, Gus. 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 love his yeah character. I love that es- character uh, like, yes uh Esposito oh my God what's man. his name uh Giancarlo Espos- yeah, Esposito is his real name I follow I follow his Instagram I follow and now every time you see him do. now yeah you like you like you gotta watch it yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love did, that dude. I didn't man. like him in Maze Runner, though. I never saw Maze Runner. Yeah, but it's it's a really bad movie. 
good. I won't waste my time on it. Was it Maze Runner? Um, was it something else. He was in it, though, right? I'm not tripping, right? It was him in, like, I don't know. It was him in, like, that, um, in that, uh, the attire of, like, the world ended attire. Like, the Max, like, the Batman Max attire. Like, oh, just cloth and stuff. Yeah. In the desert, because everything died. Those shows. I'm, I'm tired of them. I'm tired of those movies. Yeah. I'm tired of those. That's At, those end are, of the world is, uh, like, I'm Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a fan either. Like, we Except know, Last of Us. It. Last of Us did it well. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Little or last the zombie movies and all we didn't see them we didn't max that out king yeah they Man. can run they can sprint they yeah, can evolve they can, sprint, they can they can climb each other no probably but living now that you're now immune too. because you got bit but something in your neurological system you didn't die so now you're the only survivor you get it then then there, what's uh what's the one with will smith and michael b jordan oh uh, 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 I, I am legend, legend that's too. coming back yeah. soon too yeah so well, thank you for coming in, reminiscing. I seriously appreciate you having me. Oh, man. It was a really good time. Oh, thank you. Like I said, we like to have fun. We like to make sure the guests have fun. Let your shoulders down. Have fun. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. This is the most profanity we've ever had on a My <laughs> bad. <pretty> bad. Listen, <laughs> so, it's bad. It's so, bad at home. But, I have to put money in savings accounts. because I. Oh, then they're going to have footage. They're going to have evidence of how much money is going in. No. Same shit. No. <laughs> like, Mom, you said $365,000 worth of words. Like, God damn. It's a dollar for a word, so. A dollar? If you just want to add yeah. that up at the end, that'd be fine. You're going forward a good, nice, good skateboard. No, he can't touch time. it. He can't touch it. <laughs> You know, we did let him swear one time. You guys want to see it? No, never what? mind. Later, later, later. <laughs> oh, man. What I is remember- happening right now? People are just peopling. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, you uh, appear this or you come here. You come in this I, week. I've still, I have yet to hear my kids curse. I'm kind of afraid to. Uh, I remember when my little sister cursed for the first time, and that was the funniest in the world. She was like, she... It was a song, and she heard, and she said "bitch" in it, and my uh, <laughs> mom caught it, oh and she was like, "She was like, you don't say that, you don't say that word." But we, had, me and my older sister, told, and she's like, "You don't say that word." And then she felt guilty, she felt bad, and then she ran up to my mom like like maybe twenty minutes later. She's like, "Hey, mom, mom, I won't say bitch no more. I'm sorry, I won't say bitch no more." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but she just kept saying it over and over again, and she was like, uh, "Oh, okay, 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 we get we it. get it." <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, like, that's my little sister. Definitely feels like my third child, but you know, before my kids actually you know, came into this world, that's that's so, awesome. So hearing her curse felt like hearing one of my kids curse. <laughs> yeah, I swear I've seen that same animation in like SmackDown versus Raw. <laughs> Probably did. As they use they can in the same animation, same over and engine, over, again, bro. Bro. <laughs> over yeah. and over. I was like, what is this from? This is from like I was, I was like thirteen when I saw that <laughs> animation. Yeah, man, that is. You want to close this one? You want to close this one? You know, it's once a trap again, bumping right now, baby. You know, <laughs> YouTube.com backslash Florida City Podcast. You know what I mean? Make sure you guys subscribe. Do it. And tune in to do the know, thing. One of the realest episodes we ever had. Not no pun intended, but is the <laughs> his his rap monster and her being the problem, but also having a real interview. You know what I mean? This was dope. Fire, make sure you tune in. We don't really talk family much, and it was like probably the most like this was like talk, this yeah. was this a like good, home. This was like this was good, you know. Cooked food, good to be like a, yeah, this is a cooked food, you know home, I mean? I homegrown. Tell, tell type my story about my, how my, my mom right hook was. I don't get to say yeah. that, <laughs> but you know, thank you guys for tuning in. You know, shout out to my brothers once again, Sai right there back and holding the camera for you guys. That probably can't, okay, you know who Sai is, you know who X is. Uh, we miss you, Mike. Yeah. Mike we miss Mike, the goat. Mike, Mike the goat. We miss you. Shout we out, love goat. you, brother. Get, keep getting that paper in Tennessee, man, and throw me five dollars, bro. Also, <laughs> you know what I mean. Make buy sure him you some look coffee. out. Coffee. Buy him some coffee. Coffee. You know what I'm saying. Decaf. And <laughs> you know, make sure you guys cop my brother's project. You guys see this by that project uh, by this time, May fourteenth. Make sure you cop that. That's Our project June twenty fourth. Make sure you cop that. And you know, Troy's birthday is April twenty fourth. I yeah, remember that. Is. I said it would have. Yeah, I was like, I was like twenty four. Twenty fourth. So you know, we thirty five forty eight. We continue to to keep it moving, brother. And as you say, be confident in everything we do. Wash your ass and do your homework. Yeah, yeah, Troy. All that. <laughs>